Hey brothers and sisters, on the 24th of April, I received a message from the Lord at about 1245 at night. It was after midnight. I was very, very tired and I wanted to go to bed. However, I felt in my spirit that the Lord wanted to give me a message. And so I reluctantly went ahead and, and uh, I when I get the messages, usually... Um, if I'm not praying, if I'm praying, I write them down um, in, on a piece of paper, but otherwise it's on the computer. So I, got, I grabbed my computer and I started writing the message that I heard. This one's a little bit different and I'll tell you uh, what happened when I was getting this message because in this message I got a very clear sign from the Lord about the message and that uh, sometimes happens but not usually so this makes me pay attention all right here's the message stay tuned into me you will then hear my voice stay connected to me you are not you are living in dangerous times there is much coming that you do not know about it will bring tragedy and sorrow and grief people will be against people family members against each other Civil unrest will reign in the streets. There will be murder all across the land. It will not be a safe time to be out and about. My people must learn how to be self-sufficient in order to survive. Not only civil war, but the persecution of my people will increase. Okay, then the message stopped, and, and when it stopped, I started hearing, this is the sign that came, okay? And this is, again, this is after midnight, I start hearing gunshots outside in the valley. Not too close to my home, but it was pretty noticeable. And that never happens. You know, I live in the country, so there are a lot of people who will do target practice. And you'll hear that. But this was target practice going on after midnight. I, I never think that's ever happened. I don't think I've ever heard that before. So that made me really pay attention. I'm I, like, Lord, what is this? What's going on while I'm getting this message? And then the message continued. You are not safe anymore. Go and hide in the mountains. Be as wise as serpents, but gentle as doves. The time has come that you must think about your survival. You must live so you can declare my glory. You must live so that you can serve me by being my mouthpiece, my arms, and legs. My body will suffer as I suffered on the cross for you. Your suffering will be a sign that you are mine. Do not wonder about all these fiery trials that are coming upon you. I have spoken about them in my word. They must happen, and prophecy must be fulfilled. However, I will be with you in every situation. You are not to worry or fear. Just trust and believe that I walk with you in all your circumstances. There is no place that I cannot go. Prepare, my children. Heed the warnings that are coming to you. Don't just listen and then walk away. Pay attention and follow through what I have laid on your heart. For each one, it will be different. My sheep know my voice. I am near, my children. I am here. And that was the end of this very sobering message that I re that I got from the Lord. So this is just another prophecy about war that's coming. This time it talks about civil unrest that's coming in our streets and to our cities. I then asked the Lord for to lead me to a scripture that I could point to or I could put in this blog. And he led me to Isaiah 33, 14 through 16, and it was very encouraging to me. And I'm going to go ahead and read that as well. The sinners in Zion are terrified. Trembling grips the godless. Who of us can dwell with a consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? Those who walk righteously and speak what is right, who reject gain for, from extortion 
and keep their hands from accepting bribes, who stop their ears against plots of murder and shut their eyes against contemplating evil. They are the ones who will dwell on the heights, whose refuge will be in the mountain fortress. Their bread will be supplied, and water will not fail them.